The city of Kelowna is one step forward in reaching its long-term vision of linking downtown Kelowna to UBC Okanagan and beyond. At a press conference recently, it was announced that $3 million would be earmarked to fund phase two of the Rails with Trails project, linking the multi-use corridor between Gordon Drive and Spall Road with the existing trail system connecting Dilworth Drive to Highway 33. It's a great day for our community and for people of all ages because it's a multimodal corridor. You can, you can walk, you can push a stroller, you can cycle, you can uh, use your inline blades and um, it's also done in a safe way and that's the fact that you're taking people off from the cars, from the, uh, from the cyclists. Contributing equally to the $3 million was the Government of Canada, who provided $1.46 million through the gas tax fund transfer, and the province of BC, who provided $1.52 million through Bike BC. For cycling advocates, the announcement was welcome news. If you can translate one day per week of commuting to work by a bicycle, you've saved 17% of your carbon emissions, of your, your cost of gas, of your wear and tear on your car. And, and you've gained that much in the health benefits. So it's, it's a win-win. Any infrastructure investment is a, is a progressive thing. You don't get it all at one time. Uh, you, it grows along with the community and the capacity to pay for, for things. And so this is important that we uh, invest here and then move forward to the next piece. For residents, the new trail system will link employment hubs such as the downtown or the landmark buildings with where they live. And as a non-motorized active transportation route, it sets the tone for a safe and inviting commute. This phase two section of the pathway is rather significant since it is strategically located to link to Kelowna's existing network of pathways, creating a continuous 19.5 kilometer loop of off-road pathways. Bike lanes and sidewalks, of course, are great, and we have more kilometers per population than any other city in Canada, but when you can make it off-road, you make it safer and more inviting, and that's what this announcement today helps us do. For Go Okanagan, I'm Marianne Ockel.